what was life before this? It was uh, maybe empty almost, you know? Hi again. Let me expand this window. I'm gonna close all these tabs, one second. Okay, there we go. Are you still in Miami? Yes, I am still in Miami. I have been here for 12 years and I would never leave. We are actually in the new house that during season two, everyone saw us trying to tear it down and rebuild. So we are now living in that home and it's beautiful, it's finished. We are absolutely loving it. We got to follow your struggles with getting pregnant while watching the show. Lenny has given me so much of my life. And you want to give it? I just want to give him a baby. And the fact that it's not happening, I don't know if it's going to happen. The part that we got to miss that I hope you can talk about is what it was like the first moment you got to hold your son. The first moment I held my son was absolutely surreal. It's almost as if he had such a calming presence. He was so calm and just looked at me and I was nervous. You know, I didn't carry him and all of a sudden I have my son in my arms and I've been waiting so long to have that moment. I was crying, I was shaking, overjoyed and he wasn't crying, he just looked at me. Like, <laughs> it was amazing. Now I have two. Uh, I have Elle, who is now seven and a half months, and, and Logan, who is almost five. Come here. This is Logan. Hi, Logan. How are you? Say hi. Oh, he's never shy. Logan, can you say hi? <laughs> I can't imagine life, how, what was life before this? It was uh, just so maybe so maybe empty almost, you know. I just feel so fulfilled, and my life is for them. Everything I do is for them. Lenny and I just waited so long, you know, to have these children. We've been together for 12 years, and it took a really long time to have Logan. We had some issues having Elle, and finally, you know, our family is complete. So we just couldn't be happier. You and Lenny have really survived, you know, because I think a lot of marriages... First, the, the reality Yeah, show. and I mean, <laughs> that's something to be so proud of, and what do you feel like the secret is to your long-lasting marriage? We've definitely had our up and downs. It's not my fault. I'm not saying it's your fault. Yeah, but you're leaving me. I'm not a, I said you're, stay. Okay, you're punishing me. How am I punishing you? Why, why leaving me? People outsiders see it, they want to try to break a happy couple up. We've definitely, um, we're not perfect, but we just don't go to bed angry. We love each other and we have a beautiful life together. We support each other. What's the most surprising thing about motherhood? The most surprising thing about motherhood. I pretty much knew what I was getting into, you know? <laughs> um, it's a lot of work. Yeah. Definitely a lot of work. Um, life is completely different. You don't sleep as much, of course, everybody knows that. Um, you know, it's just night and day. Do you ever rewatch Real Housewives in Miami? I don't rewatch the show. I hate seeing myself on TV. I can't stand it. So I really only watch it when. We do these marathons and I'm trying to maybe tweet or keep up with the fans. My son wanted to watch it the other day and he couldn't believe like, oh, mommy's on TV. And I told him, yeah, we were, we were talking about you. That's about you. So that, that was nice. And um, yeah, I don't really like to watch it. <laughs> I think that helped a lot of people. I do get a lot of messages um, from fans saying how I've helped them in some way. Maybe they were embarrassed or ashamed that they had issues having children. That one thing for sure, the, probably the best thing that came out of the show is that I help somebody because of course, why else do you do these shows? You want to help somebody or touch somebody in some way. Do you remember the, the fight you got into with Joanna's makeup artist? Yeah, I actually watched the clip today. No talent, no money. You no have no talent. money. You're Talent, no money. You're a nobody. 25 years, Bye. no Bye. money, no talent. No one cares about you either. Joanna really caught me off guard during that interview. I read online, you said this about Lisa. 
she has such an issue with getting pregnant, maybe cutting down on the partying would help with the health aspect of becoming pregnant. She should focus on herself a little more. Well, every wow, time I see that's... Lisa, she has a drink in her hand, and I went through... That's f***ing low, no, Dramatic, but... okay? Before filming that interview, I do remember us, or her, letting me know that she had my back and vice versa, and being the trusting, maybe much more naive person then, in my 20s, I believed it and, you know, fell for it because I'm that type of person. And that is not the way it went, and I was sort of blindsided. Really? I'm not going to the Really? Lisa. I, I thought you two were too. Too. I I And obviously, you know, I feel sorry for them because it, it obviously came from a dark place, somebody being unhappy. Why else would you attack a friend? You know, that says it all right there. So I was attacked, and I got up and left because I wasn't prepared for that, and I wasn't going to go there. It kind of looks like it went on for a long time, but like we saw only a short snippet. It was pretty quick. Oh, it was? <laughs> it was pretty quick. The two of them are best friends, and she's saying all these nasty things about me, that he's saying all these nasty things about me to my makeup artist. In he's a disgusting. What did I ever do to him? I was so nice to him. I'm like, hey, Tony, how are you? The only thing you did is look ugly, bitch. Just shut your ugly mouth. I actually used him as my, my makeup artist. Probably a big mistake. You know, he's obviously a troubled human being. Maybe he needed a therapist. I honestly feel sorry for him looking back at it. You know, I hope he gets the help that he needs because it was really disgusting. The emotions came back when I saw it and I just, I was absolutely shocked when I watched it. And also seeing Joanna like snicker in the background, laughing with him, um, calling me these disgusting things. I forgot about that and, uh, you know, it really put things into perspective. What do you think your reaction would be if you saw Joanna on the street? I would completely ignore her. There's no need to say hi or interact with her. I wish her all the best, of course, but there's just no need for us to interact. Did that moment or any other moment ever make you consider quitting the show? No. I just, uh, looking back, I wish I would have done things a little differently. I definitely would not have been part of Joanna's wedding after what happened and all that was said in Vegas. I'm not married for money. Oh, what's that? what does that mean? Joanna's being a f***ing bitch. She needs to go back into her little corner and simmer down. But it wasn't authentic to who I am today. I'm not gonna lie, I, I wasn't surprised that they got a divorce as soon as they did. You know, they had issues before going into the marriage and who knows, maybe it was rushed for reality TV, maybe they weren't ready, I don't know, but you know, it was clear that that was their fate. Yeah. How did being a real housewife change your life? Well, it's definitely, I'm known. I'll walk on the street or go to a restaurant and, and people still recognize me, which is shocking because it's been so long. And I've made these great friends, you know, Alexa, Marisol, Leah, I still speak to Leah also. Um, not as not as frequent as the others, but um, it's, you know, it, I wouldn't take anything back. I want to talk about what I consider the most memorable moment from the show, and it was at your lingerie party, the fight that broke out between Joanna and Adriana. Adriana, what thing? No, I've been in the f business for 12 f years. You guys are f me. Like, you're f oh, really? You f bitch? I would have done things today a lot differently. How so? I would have never allowed a fight like that to happen in my home. I would have asked them to leave <laughs> because that's so inappropriate. You know, you're my friend, it's my party, I spent a lot of time putting it together. It's not about fighting, it's about us getting together, having drinks and laughs. Yeah, yeah. Right. This is my party, if anyone fights, they're out. So let's have fun or I'll kick all of your asses, okay? Thank you. It turned into this show with fighting and punching and that's never happened at any one of my parties. And like I said, if it happened today, they would have been out the door. Yeah. And I should have been out. But I didn't. <laughs> Mistake, but. Does it make you feel better to know that you're sort of in the Housewives Hall of Fame in terms of having a beautiful party ruined by someone? I had no idea, so that's great. Um, no, I mean, that that's great. I, of course, we want to create memorable moments. Being on the show, you don't want to be forgotten. You do it for a reason. Um, 
so that's that's great. I, I hope that there's more other moments that people remember, not just that one. And it was also, it's just also such a, an iconic Bravo moment because uh, Joe Francis is there. I actually, I actually, I dated both sisters too, so I think. Oh, yeah. <laughs> too much information. Marta so, and Joanna. Did you sleep with both of them? Yes. So if we, if we did a body yeah. shot tonight, Marta. it's familiar territory. Way you slept with both of them, buddy. True. Do you still talk to Joe Francis? Absolutely not. Okay. <laughs> like I said, being in my 20s, I've grown a lot since the show. Um, it was all new to me, you know, I was learning about myself and I learned a lot about myself and grown up a lot since filming that show. I would have handled many situations very differently today. Who do you still talk to from The Real Housewives of Miami? I talk to Marisol, Adriana, Alexia. We're super close. We weren't so close during filming, but after filming ended, we became really close. They come to, you know, all of my events, birthday parties, we support each other. We realized how much we really liked each other. I, I liked them during filming. I, I wanted to hang out with them, but it just didn't go that way. And we decided we wanted to remain friends after everything was done. So you mentioned who you're still talking to, but I didn't hear Joanna's name. And I feel like, I was such a fan of the show. I remember you guys being so chummy all the time. And then I feel like things took sort of a dark turn in the season three reunion. Well, every wow, time I see that's... Lisa, she has a drink in her hand. And I went through- That's f***ing low, no, but okay. Hold on, don't cry. No, 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 I'm Come fine on, because you're supposed to be my friend. You're taking digs at me not I... being able to get no, pregnant. No, I'm what not a bitch you are for that. You. I'm not taking digs at you. And yes, you, you are. You're... Do you remember if you guys ever connected after that reunion, or was that the last time you talked? I don't think Joanna and I ever connected. And I felt that, and I knew that, and I just played the game, and I just went along with it. But I've never really felt connected. It was very um, pushed. It was never natural with her. Um, yeah, and obviously things went down during the reunion. Uh, you know what, I'm uh, done with you. You want I'm to make accusations? I'm not, really? I'm not saying anything. I'm you're not implying, saying anything. You're, you're implying, you're oh implying, you're implying. I'm not it's saying nasty, anything. It's a... And I saw her for what person I felt that she was, and obviously I wouldn't continue a relationship with her, and vice versa. <laughs> there was no point after the show, obviously.